Today I'll show you how you can create this unique slider in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here when we click on any of these left items or these arrows, the slide is changing according to that and it also works in both ways. So when you also change this slide, you can see these items are also highlighting according to that. So without any further ado, let's see how can we create that. So here I will start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this slider as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my Camrod shop only for $2.99. And to use this template, you also have to have the Elementor Pro. Okay, so after downloading this template, you will get a JSON file like this. So you just need to go to your page and go to this template upload option. And let's just drag this JSON file to here. And you will get this one, Elementor Unique Slider. Let's just insert this. And you will get this full template. And this is also responsive from our tablet or the mobile devices. And from here, if you also want to change any of this content, you can also do that from Navigator View. So here you can see all of this content, all of this icon box, this left and right arrows under here. So for example, if I want to add a new item on here, so I need to just duplicate this item. And instead of this web design, I want to add here app development. And you can also change this icon from here. Or even if you also want to change this color, you can also do that from this option. And as I here create a new item, so I also need to add a new slide on here. So let's just go to here and I also want to duplicate this web design slide and you can also change this title. If you also want to add a different background image or a different background overlay, you can also change all of this from here. Okay. But if you also don't want this sediment template, you can also start everything from scratch. So I want to delete this section. And here, first of all, I want to create a new section with these two column layout. And first, let's make this section to full height. So make the minimum height to 100 VH. And I also want to give a container width from here. From the style, let's also add a background color. Then inside our first column, first of all, let's add a heading widget. And as I here want to create a surfaces section, so I want to change this text. And after this heading, I want to add a item for our this slider. So for this, we will use an icon box widget. So let's drag this to under here. And here I don't want this paragraph. So let's delete this. I only want to show a service name here. And also change this icon. And I want to place this icon on this left side. So make the icon position on left and then go to this style. First of all, let's change this icon color. And from this content option, let's also set a color for this text, make it to black and also change this font. And here you can notice I have already set the global font to poppins. So that's why you can see this already poppins font here. I just want to set a font size and also set the weight to 500 and with this text i also want to reduce the size of this icon make it to 20 and then here i also want to add a background color behind this icon basically i want to use this yellow color as a background of this icon and give this icon color to black but here you can see there is no option for adding the background only for these icons so we will do this by using the custom css so let's go to this section settings and go to this custom CSS option. And here we need to paste some code. And you know, to use this custom CSS feature, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Let's paste this code. And you can see here we have used this yellow background color and also add a border on this right side. Okay, so now here I also want to add some border around this whole widget. So again, go to its settings and go to this advanced tab, this border option and make this border to solid, make it to one pixel and also make the border radius 20 pixel. 
but here I don't want to make it to full width so go to this layout and make the width to inline from the right side we also need some padding so make it to 15 pixel and at the bottom let's also give the bottom margin 15 but we need to fix this text so go to this content option and make the vertical element to the middle and also make the spacing to zero now like this one i also want to add some other items but before that let's here style this heading i want to make its color to fully black and also increase its font size make the font weight to 700 and also add some line height at the bottom let's also add some spacing 20 okay then here for this column i also want to reduce its width 40 percent perfect now here let's just duplicate this item and i want to change this text to another one change this icon and also change this color and like this one let's also duplicate it couple more times and also change this content so after adding all of this here i also want to add a left and right icon at the bottom so for this let's add this icon widget here and let's also change this icon to this and here i want to add some border around that so make the view to framed from the style let's also change this default color to black and i also want to add some hover effect above that so here make the primary color to white and the secondary color to black okay now you can see this reverse hover effect but here we can see some issues with these borders so i will also fix that later but before that here let's make it size to 25 pixel and also make the border width to 1 pixel now here i don't like to use this default bold icon because i always like to use some sort of light icons so this will make your website looks much better so for this light icon we also need to add some more custom css code on here and you can see this beautiful icon and on hover we can also see our this border issue has also been fixed so here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of this code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code on here okay now like this one i also want to add a button right after that on this right side so for this first of all i want to make its width to inline width so make it from here but you can see it goes beside our these items so to fix this problem here we also need to add an widget right after these items so i want to add an spacer widget here and let's give the space to 5 pixel perfect now i can just duplicate these items and here i also need some spacing between them so on this right side make it to 20 pixel and for this one i want to make this icon direction on this right side so we need to change this custom css code for this one let's clear all of this and paste this code all right so we have done all of all these controlling elements so now on this right side i want to add our this slide let's search for the slider widget and drag this to here and here as we create five items so we also need to add five slide items for this slider so our first item will be the graphics design so make the title graphics design and i also want to change this button text and you can add a link for each of these buttons so if you have a service page or have multiple single services pages you can also add this link with these buttons okay and from this background option instead of this color you can also add some images and above that i also want to add a background overlay color so let's paste this color code okay but we cannot see our background color behind this overlay so here i want to add some transparency with this color and you can notice when i move this transparency slider here only this last two digit is changing so i want to set it to f2 so this two digit is basically represent the opacity of this color okay and like this one here i also want to edit our this second item so make this content to web design 
change this button text and from the background let's also remove this color make this background image to this one and also i want to add a different background overlay color here for this color i also want to use the same opacity like the previous color so here i also use the same value f2 and like this one let's also quickly create the other slides so after adding all of this here if we go to the slider option from here you can also control all of the option from here okay so now let's go to the style tab and i want to change this title make this line height 1.2 em and for this button i want to make this to medium size make the border radius 50 pixel and also change this background color to the white color and this text color to this black then from here i want to disappear these left and right arrows and also these default dots because i want to only handle this with our these left items so to disappear this let's again go its custom css and paste this to here and now we cannot see it anymore so here with this top line we have disappears our these arrows and with this line of code we have also disappears our these bottom dots and here you may thinking there is already a default option to disappear this arrow and dots so if we make the navigation to none i can also do that from here but here for making this functionality we must have to have keep this option always dot and arrows otherwise it will not be working so now everything is ready so to make it work finally we need to add some classes with our elements so first of all i want to go to this section and here let's add this class my dash slider then with this icon we need to add my dash slider dash brief and for this one let's make it next and then with our this first item i also want to add a class active and you can see it on its active state because by default here i want to make our this first item to active okay now finally i also want to add some javascript code so let's drag this html widget at the bottom of this column and paste this code let's save this and if we see it from our preview and you can see it looks really very great and also perfectly working so now let's go to again here and now i want to make this responsive for our tablet and the mobile devices but here before that i forget to add some top margin above that so make it to 75 pixel perfect let's go to this tab and here i want to make this to full width so for the first column make it 100 percent and also for the second column and also for this section i want to remove this minimum height so make it to zero and now let's take a look at this heading widget so make this font size to this and also align this on the center from the top i think we need some spacing so make the top padding 90 pixel then if we look at these items we need to add some gap between them so make the margin to 8 pixel and also for this one and here we will apply this for all of our these widgets and when we apply the same style don't just right click on here and copy the style and paste the same style on here because you can see i've used different background color for each of our widgets so that color can also be pasted on here and lastly to align this all of this to center from this column settings i want to make the horizontal alignment to the center and here when you click on any of these items you can see it also scroll down to that slider section so for the mobile and tablet i have also enabled this option for these items and lastly let's also check this on mobile so first of all i want to reduce the font size for this heading and here this icons looks broken so if you go to here you can see by default for mobile here the icon position is set to top let's make it to left and also do the same for the other one let's also check this slider and here we can see this small font size so let's make it to 35 and also increase the font size of this let's also increase the width of this content 98 percent 
so now it also looks perfect for our mobile devices. And lastly, I also want to enable our this autoplay option for this slider. And let's save this. So that's how you can create this unique slider in your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.